Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Joe Second with Bike Walk Dunwoody. It's Saturday, August 27th, and I'm about to show you what $65,000 in uh, our taxpayer dollars will get you for traffic calming, safety, and complete streets. I'm over on Shamley Dunwoody Road at where the just um, what is it? Just off where Spalding is, and the cut through that is this uh, Dunwoody Road here. Okay, so right now I'm on Dunwoody Road, and behind me. Is Spalding Drive, and that's the city of Sandy Springs, right? And in front of me is Shamley Dunwoody, and then Redfield. Now, um, there were several options on this, and we still have the intersection of Shamley Dunwoody and Spalding to work on. But there was an option potentially to take this Dunwoody Road and just close it off, right? And just have everybody go to uh, Shamley Dunwoody and Spalding, put in a nice roundabout or something, which uh, I believe that would have been uh, best and most efficient. But, however, here we are today. This is $65,000 in a uh, pedestrian safety crossing project and a complete streets project. So let's take a look. So we're coming into the uh, intersection here. And what happened is this used to just bear to the right. It was like a merge right. You know, it's like, a, like an on-ramp to the expressway. Well, what do they do? They curved it to the left, made it more of a 90 degree angle. You have to come much more stop, give a better sight line to turn from the left and right. Now, what do you see here? check this out this is a new complete street we have a bike lane we have a very nice sidewalk with a great separation notice how far that separation is no oh, by the way that's in publicly owned right-of-way didn't have to buy a single uh, piece of property to do this to make to add this sidewalk down here connection down to the next street um, now what are we coming upon in the middle here now I noticed this just used to be two lanes you know this was always just two lanes right there was, it wasn't four lanes, it wasn't three lanes, it wasn't anything like that. It was just two lanes each way, but it's so wide, right? They built all these roads so wide in the 80s and stuff, so that they were eventually gonna wind them up and make them all four lanes, uh -huh. So what do you see here? This is a pedestrian crossing island. It's a refuge in the middle of the crosswalk. What does this do? So many great things, right? So, first of all, it's traffic calming. Cars are coming in here and saying, Oh, hold on a second. There's something going on here. There might be people that actually live here. There might be people that don't just cut through in a car and speed as fast as they can. So that's one thing for cars, for traffic calming, because it's posted 35 miles an hour in here. So why not just make sure they're going 35? What's the other thing? Guess what? If you're a pedestrian, you don't need those flashing beacon lights. You know the flashing beacon lights on Mount Vernon? How many people are stopping for them? Not too many. Well, what do you have here? You can get out halfway, wait, and then you can pause here, and then you can go the other half. Isn't that great? So these are called pedestrian crossing islands. It's a refuge in the middle, right? And there you have it. So anyhow, again, this is truly called Complete Streets. It's traffic calming. It's, it's a sense of place. And look at that. Yes, I can make a, people can make a left turn out of here, and it's no issue at all, right? just hey there's people here there are humans walking around on foot on bicycles there's kids playing and so on so again it's a great day in Dunwoody to see this that again ladies and gentlemen is sixty-five thousand dollars from the taxpayer funds we want to send a shout out to our, our Dunwoody City Council and Mayor and our public work staff for implementing the pedestrian action safety plan thank you very much bye-bye